Guardian. Okay, I'm going to read this article. And it says this. The Office for National Statistics shows that women not living in a couple who have never been married is rising in every age range under, under 70. In the, de in, in the decade and a half between two, two, 2002 sorry, to 2018, the figure for those aged 40 to 70 rose by half a million. The percentage of never married singletons in their 40s doubled. There is no avoiding that our romantic opportunities have dwindled as the pool of age-appropriate men has been emptied. This is what a woman's now saying. Annually, we manage a small smattering of dates between us. Most of us have grown weary of online dating, which requires you to treat it as an all-consuming hobby or a part-time job. We are tired of Tinder, bored of Bumble. I have been ejected by eHarmony, which I last time, last time I logged on. He told me I could, they could not find me a single match. Ouch. Wow. They couldn't find her a single match? That's what a lady in The Guardian said. She, oh, they were interviewing many, her. Uh, well, how I wonder what she looks like. Yeah, how much she weigh? She's probably a whale. Yeah, she's probably a whale. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Oh. So, ladies, what do we think? What do we think of the dating scene right now? And mm. are modern women becoming more lonely? Mm. Okay. I was in a five-year relationship, which means I was 23 when I got into it, and I was 28 when I came out. I'm now 29. When I came out, I decided to join Hinge and Tinder because I was dealing with 24, 25-year-old men, and now I'm dealing with men that plus 30 plus. So I wanted to know what the new kind of pool of dating feels like. And to be honest, it's not good. I feel mm. like people are too focus on the, sh the superficial, they don't go deep enough. And that's why people don't trust each other. It's not just because women are turning bad, it goes both ways. So yeah, it's messed up right now, for real. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yeah. I've never been to any uh, dating sites and everything. And every time I date someone, I have to meet them face to face, like, you know, from friends to friends. And like all my exes, I never found them like any social media or, um, you know, I mean, probably... Yeah, not social media, but it's more, more likely like I've met them in real life instead of actually being on a dating app and everything. Mm. So, yeah. Our stories are quite similar, me and Danelva. So I was also in a relationship for five years and I've never been, same as Angel, I've never been on a dating website. And when that relationship ended, I didn't think to go straight to a dating website. I just stepped outside. I did it for research yeah. purposes, by the way. Oh. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think I have problems finding a man? <laughs> Thank Pro you. Uh, yeah, probably, but go on. Uh, <laughs> if you see the roster is long. No, anyone, it's just way oh, in. Okay. Well, I think um, there's two things. I think um, our society is very. Um, we, we live in a world with social media and we live in a world with a lot of distractions. And I think people are under the illusion that people are replaceable mm. and are very much addicted to the dopamine hit of meeting someone new and the infatuation, but the minute it gets difficult, oh, well, there's someone. I can swipe on Tinder and they'd want to go out with me kind of thing. And I think also, too, in, in, in society, I think men have, they know what women want. They know what women need. And I don't think it's the other way around. Mm. I would agree with that. So you would say that men know what women want, but women don't know what men want. Yeah, I think 